today I'm going to show you how to make a rock pendant cap like this rock uh, that I got from Central Park in New York City. So the things that you need are a soldering iron of course, some lead free solder, some lead free flux, a wet sponge, an old paintbrush, some copper tape, some jump rings, this is a third hand, and some rocks of course. So to start you need to take your copper tape and make a cap like this on your rock. So, and the copper tape is really easy to tear, so that's nice. And once you get one piece on, you just push it down. And continue. Do it around the bottom. Off. You flatten all the copper tape around the rock, and there you've got a cap. Okay, so once you have your copper tape cap, you want to take your rock or your coral or whatever you're working on and put it in your third hand. Then you want to take some of your flux, a little bit, with your paintbrush, and cover the copper tape in the flux. And this will allow the solder to stick to your copper tape. And whenever I'm doing like a big batch of this, I will, you know, wear a like scarf or something in front of my face just so you don't inhale any of the fumes. And you can wear gloves. I just find gloves really, really annoying. So just try not to touch any of the chemicals or the or the solder. So once you have your flux covering the copper tape. You want to take your solder, and I've already done this, but and mine is already heated up, but you want to cover your uh, soldering rod with uh, solder to, to prep it and make it last longer. And so then you just put the solder on the soldering iron and you'll get a bead of solder once it's heated up and it'll fall in there. And you'll be surprised by how much one bead of solder will cover on your copper cap. Alright. So there we go. Covers a lot. So sometimes a little bit of the solder will drop off, just let it cool, and then you can just put it over on your wet sponge. All right, so this is covered now, so you just want to put your soldering iron in the sponge, see, this will just come right up, and you can save it for later. So now that you've gotten your cap on your, your rock or your coral, you want to put this back in your third arm, hand, <laughs> and take your jump ring and put it in the other claw of the third hand. And then you want to rest the jump ring just where you want it to go. on. your rock. So then you'll take a little bit of flux again and put it on the bottom of the jump ring and the top of your cap, wherever you want the, the jump ring to go for your pendant. Then you can take your solder again, heat it up, and just let gravity push it onto the jump ring. Come on. There we go. So 
got a little bit on there, but it doesn't look pretty, so I'm just gonna keep manipulating it until it looks like a perfect pendant cap. There we go. The cool thing about solder is that it can be heated and reheated a few times until you get it looking exactly how you want it. It's more forgiving than, than you would think. Okay, so once you're done smoothing out the solder and making it look awesome, you have your pendant. And here are a few other rocks that I've made. Uh, this is a rock from Central Park. Um, and these are a few from vacations that I went on. Here's the one I was working on earlier. Um, I just think it's a really special way to have a souvenir from somewhere that's really meaningful that you'll, that you'll have for a long time. If you want to know where to get all the supplies that I'm using, um, I did a lot of research and found like the best deals. Just visit my blog and you can click the link in the description of this video. So thank you so much and good luck!